All right, guys, I'm super excited for all these new UX UI design tools, which are actually super useful. And some of these are updates to your favorite tools as well. All right, so the first one are all the crazy new Figma features that were launched at Framework by Figma, which is basically their design systems event. One of the most prominent updates were design tokens inside colors, gradients, etc. So everything can now be saved as either a variable or a design token as a color, because of which, of course, you'll see the new interface for the gradients as well as the colors, especially if you have an existing design system. In Figma beta, now you can just copy a section's code from inside dev mode and send it over to a developer and then they can understand it on their own. All right, so Spline, the popular 3D design tool, has a powerful new tool in built now. It's called AI 3D Generate. And apart from just typing in a prompt as to what you want to generate, you can now convert 3D images or just images into a 3D asset inside Spline. So if you see like a cartoon and you want to convert that cartoon into a 3D asset inside your library, it can do that. You just have to upload your image and then it does its best to kind of convert it into a 3D using artificial intelligence and the whole understanding of 3D objects. You can now also create multiple variants of your existing 3D assets. So in this case, they've shown a tree. And if you create variants of this tree, there'll be different kinds of tree now. One autumn tree, one mountainous tree. So they're creating different types of trees. Also, this is not just a part of the tool. It's also part of the dashboard. So you don't even have to go inside a project. Now, this is not even close to perfect right now. This is like a first iteration. A lot of people try to create different kinds of assets, but it's very poorly designed in some cases. So it'll, it's gonna work the best in ideal conditions with easy prompts or easy images. We are organizing Mumbai Designathon, yes. For everyone watching in Mumbai, we are doing a UX UI competition where you get to compete with 200 designers in an amazing network filled and fun filled event. And you get to win incredible prizes, including an iPad, an amazing designer monitor by BenQ, and a lot more merch, goodies, etc. So if you're in Mumbai, and even if you're a beginner UX UI designer, you can join and you can take part in this and enjoy the day with us. Designers want to learn new technology as well. That is why Google has brought a Google Cloud Skill Boost program under which there's introduction to generative AI. AI certificate program. So if you're someone who wants to know or learn AI, either in a designer sense or in a tech sense, 30 to 40 minutes classes which are all happening which are of course recorded for now but a lot of cool stuff that you can access through it different courses different course badges that you can get and different paths you can take here with the google cloud learning platform talking about courses and certificates lottie file has introduced their first ever certificate program which is called the figma to lottie course so by the end of this course you'll become a certified figma to lottie converter or figma to lottie designer this is gonna be super amazing. And apart from that, they have other courses that you can check out from this page that they have here. Really cool platform, but I had to shout out the certificate program that they've included. In big news was the massive framer update, which included one of the biggest updates yet called the 3D transforms, where you can create infinite number of 3D assets, 3D animations, turn your current designs into 3D as well. And of course, if you want to check out an entire tutorial on this and resources on this, I have a video for that. I'll link that in the description. They have also added masking where you can add masks to shapes, effects, carousels, etc. And a lot of these are very free form masks. I think a lot of cool new visual design and UI design features that have been included inside Framer. Okay, so this is something called designlouder.tv. And I saw this and this is incredible. Zach Nielsen is doing this. It is sponsored by some amazing design companies. And it's like a, almost like a Netflix series of UX UI designers talking about their successful and unsuccessful projects. I suggest just following him for now on Zach Nielsen as it's still not live on YouTube or anywhere else. Maybe he brings the best designers from all over the world. Okay, so this is big news for AR VR fans out there. If you want to design for AR VR, this could be the biggest good signs in the industry. So Meta launched its Meta Horizons OS for anyone and everyone to use. They're calling it the open mixed reality ecosystem. And basically any company that wants to build an AR VR headset, they'll now be able to just use Meta's platform and build their AR VR headsets and gadgets on this. It's kind of like Android for phones, as you can see, this would be the push that a lot of companies need to start creating AR VR. A lot of headsets need to build something cheaper and efficient. 
and this could be a nice push for ARVR industry for ARVR enthusiasts like us. All right, so Figma is doing its Figma config very, very soon in June. And the entire lineup of speakers, topics, etc., everything is now live. As you can see, some really cool things, imagination at play, building and the craft of Figma, the human algorithm, building for developers, super, super cool. And the event itself is being hosted both offline and online. So if you want to see it online, you can get your tic online tickets. You'll also get to see a lot of new Figma features and the future of Figma at this event. So super eager for this. And guys, I'll keep you updated with all the updates, of course. So make sure you subscribe and you keep watching. Penpot, the popular open source tool, which is the Figma competitor also, has launched Penpot 2.0 with a lot of amazing features, including, including live HTML and CSS markup code, which you can just copy paste and create your own websites and an industry first grid layout kind of system. So you'll be able to create some really cool grids inside this, which is much easier to use and much more useful than what is there in Figma. I actually did an entire video of how this could be the biggest competition Figma has ever had till date. So check that video out and see for yourself what is really cooking. All right, so a lot of courses and certificates today, huh? Google has tied up with a company called IT Experience Incorporated, and they are bringing what they like to call Google Career Certificate Scholarship. In this scholarship, they will help you set up your career become better at job hunting, interviews, everything with actual people who are experts in this field. Application is super easy. You just start with your name and what you are doing, whether you're a student or not, what is happening in your life, whether you're in UX, IT, whatever. And once it is out, you'll get 100% scholarship. They'll guide you with proper Google certification that you will get at the end. So if you're someone who wants to upgrade their career, okay, everyone is talking about this tool and it's also won awards and stuff, claiming to be a AI design tool, an AI UI design. And I was very excited to create a video out of this, but I was madly disappointed, massively disappointed that after doing my 30 minutes of research on this tool, I can claim that this tool is absolutely useless. I want to create an entire video on this, on this whole scammy behavior of companies towards AI and the features that it is showcasing or is promising. When you start using these features, you realize this is kind of useless and it's doing, it's not doing much for me. It's like a drag and drop UI design builder. Very, very sad state of the AI design industry and how it's moving forward. It's not looking very good. I want to create a full video on this. If you guys want to see a full video on why I'm disappointed with this and why it seems like a scam, let me know in the comments.